This pen holder took over 7 hours to print. This pen holder took less than 4 hours to print. It's the same STL. And it's even 5 grams heavier, so it's not because it uses less material. The quicker one uses more. Let's explore what's going on here. Usually when you want to reduce the print time of a piece, you might try to reduce the wall count, you might try to reduce the infill. I mean, if you want to go for extreme fast printing, with cylinders like this, you could go into vase mode and you could try and print a single wall but really thick. Video on how to do that coming in the future. But this video is about an oddity that i found that makes sense once you know, but it's still quite fascinating and definitely worth remembering. Let's take this model into Cura and have a look at it. It's just a standard cylinder. I made this for the end of my last video on using Sugru on the base to stop it scratching a desk. So it has this profile on the bottom to hold the Sugru. It could have done with being a lot wider, but that's beside the point. If I choose my usual fast profile and two walls, which is pretty standard, and I slice it, I get seven hours and a few minutes. It's not that surprising for a fairly tall model, but it's still way more than I might expect for something of this shape and size. By chance I change the wall count from 2 to 3, and look what happens. It goes to under 4 hours. Why? Well, whenever I'm not sure why a print time is longer than it ought to be, I find this report useful on Cura. There's a similar one on Prusa Slicer. In Cura you hover over the I symbol here, this is a fairly recent addition in Cura actually, so if you're running an old version you might not see it. You can see here that the shorter one it has 2 minutes of infill versus the longer one at 27 minutes. So that explains half an hour of the time, and you'd expect this, you're printing more walls so you've got less infill. But the key here is that you've taken all the infill out, which means you're not having to travel at all for doing infill, which turns out to account for a whopping nearly 3 hours of print time. It's also interesting to see how all the other variables line up. Three walls means you don't spend nearly as much time on skin, but more time on inner walls. Which I can't say makes a lot of sense, in spite of trying to look up what skin is in terms of Cura. I didn't really get anywhere. As usual, if you know, please add it to the comments. At a hunch, it's probably just what they're calling the outermost wall, which is labelled as shell in the preview here. I know Prusa Slicer uses shell as a terminology instead of skin. It would be nice to have consistent terminology, but that's not where we are yet. But yeah, the main cause of the delay isn't the infill, it's the travels while doing the infill. So let me put the previews side by side here and you can see. Look at all the blue lines, these are the travels. I guess the type of infill will determine exactly how many travels there are, but the point I want to make here is that the three wall version is essentially working way more efficiently even though it has more filament to lay down overall. It only travels what, a maximum of five times per layer by the look of it? This is definitely a technique that you would want to keep in mind every time you're printing something out that's essentially a container. So that might be a cup shape like this, or it might be drawers like resistor drawers or a storage box, or it could be any kind of case like this one for trading cards. If you eliminate the infill in the sides by increasing the walls, then you will save time, and you will get a stronger wall, and perhaps even wear and tear on the printer will decrease too because there's not so many small movements and shaking. I suppose you might be screaming at the screen at this point that this is basically the same as doing 100% infill, and you'd be right, but it's not entirely. If you did 100% infill, you'd be including the tops and bottoms of the print, which might degrade the quality, and it wastes more filament. On the cylinder, it wastes another 14 grams. It's never a good idea, really, anyway, to print at 100% infill unless you know what you're doing. I will jot that down as a discussion for a future video. So, I hope this was helpful. I guess the moral of the story is that more is less, or less is more, or maybe just that you always have to have a good look at the preview before you actually click the print button. Now please subscribe if you like this sort of thing, 
I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.